Hi, this is the first video of the entire series which is called Visual Basic for Applications and how do we work with it. Before we get into too much detail, I would like to cover two basic topics. The first one is, how do I make the developer tab visible? And I will be covering that in this video. The second topic is, how do I enable or disable macros? What is macro security, etc. I will be covering this in the next video, which I will post on Thursday. So let's begin. In this video, I will demonstrate how to make the developer tab visible. By default, this tab is hidden. There are two ways which you can use to make the tab visible. The first way is using the file tab. These are what are called tabs. So you have file tab, home tab, insert tab, page layout tab and so on. So click on the file tab to access the backstage view. This is called a backstage view. Then click on the option which is right at the bottom. This is the options. When you click on this, you will be presented with the Excel options dialog box. Select the tab which is customize ribbon and then in the main tab section on the right side, check the box which is called developer and click on OK. You will notice that the developer tab is now visible. The second way to make the tab visible is by right clicking either on the ribbon tab. So let's say we right click on view. We will be presented with this menu and then in this you can click on customize the ribbon or you can click on any blank area of the ribbon. This section is called a ribbon and if you right click on a blank area, you will get the same options and you can click on customize the ribbon. When you click on customize the ribbon, you are taken to Excel options dialog box with the customize ribbon tab activated. Once this dialog box pops up, then simply follow what we did earlier. Check the box called developer under main tabs and simply click on OK. So we saw two ways to access the Excel options dialog box. There's a third way to access the dialog box using shortcut keys. There are two shortcut keys that I will share with you. The first is Alt F T. Now, how did I discover that? Let me share a secret with you. And this secret will help you in the future when you want to find out the shortcut keys of different menu options. So simply go ahead and press the Alt key and you will notice that the file tab shows you the shortcut key F right here. The moment you press the F button on your keyboard, right at the bottom, you will see that options also has a shortcut key, which is T. Now let's press T. And there you go. We got the Excel options dialog box. Let's try this once again. I'm going to press cancel and then I'm going to press Alt F T. And we have the Excel options dialog box. The second shortcut key comes from the older version of Excel where there was an options menu under the tools menu. The shortcut key to access the tools menu is T and for options it is O. Microsoft has retained that shortcut combination even till today. So you can actually press Alt T O as well to access the Excel options dialog box. Let's try it. So I press Alt T O and I get my Excel options dialog box. Developer tab is an important tab when you want to learn Visual Basic programming. By default, this tab is hidden, as I mentioned in this video. And I also showed you how to make this tab visible. This tab allows you to access functions and tools which help you in creating macros. It also helps users to create Visual Basic applications, design forms, import, export, XML data, and so many other things. 
If you still have questions about this video, feel free to email me on support at the daymaxil.com and I will reply to you within 48 hours. That's the usual turnaround time. Just a quick reminder, I will be posting two videos every week, one on Monday and the second one on Thursday. So my next video, which is how do I enable or disable macros, what is macro security, what settings should I choose, I'll be covering all that and I'll be posting that video on Thursday. If you like the way I explain things and if you think that this video can actually help your quest for visual basic programming, then go ahead, like this video and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next Thursday.